budget a certain number. At least 2,000 of you took time out to watch our Facebook chat with Steve Marchand, who is running on the Democratic ticket for governor. I love New Hampshire. I'm a native, lifelong resident, uh, born in Manchester, was a mayor in Portsmouth. And there were plenty of questions for Marchand, including one on a marquee topic of his campaign. Steve, I got to tell you, the questions are rolling in for you. Another question is, what about the legalization of marijuana? How would you handle that? Whoever asked that, I'd like to thank them. I am the only candidate in either party who believes we should legalize, regulate, and tax marijuana. From there, we fielded a number of Facebook questions, including one of the most critical issues facing the Granite State. Here's an issue that's on the minds of a lot of our citizens in New Hampshire. Somebody asks, what uh, is your plan to combat the drug crisis? The budget I had put together uh, would cost about $8 million a year. It would go to the 13 different health centers where these recovery centers are or need to go. Uh, and, um, and when we figure it out, it's really getting away from looking at this as purely a law enforcement issue and increasingly looking at this as a health issue. And we also touched on his desire to introduce paid family leave here in the Granite State for people with new babies as well as other family members. We think of it mainly for childbirth, and that's certainly an important part. But in the states that have it, New Jersey, California, Oregon, Washington, and others, they also allow for it for uh, the responsibilities that come with older parents. I'm Shelley Walcott, WMUR News 9.